Okay, so today we're going to show you how to unbend CPU pins. So right now this CPU is, um, you know, pretty good. There's a few bins in it. Uh, the CPU does not work anymore. It just uh, completely fried. So that's why we're going to use it as just a tool uh, just to show you how to unbend pins. So first, we need some bent pins, right? Well, there you go. So. You can see down here, oh, camera focus, so you can see right there you have a bunch of bent pins. So we're going to bring them back over here and we're going to take a knife. You can take an, an X-Acto knife or just any razor blade, whatever. There's something very, very thin, and you're going to just start to go through and kind of raise them back up very, very carefully, or else you will break them off. You don't want to do that. And once they're all raised up, then you're going to take a debit card or something like that, and you're going to run through all the pins. So let me get them straightened back up, just about done. Alright, so for the most part they're all raised back up. They're not sitting flat anymore, they're standing up on their own. Now it's just a matter of making sure that, you know, there's no, none in there. Now, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, I bent my CPU pins and now my processor's no good. I have to go buy a new one. Oh, well. that You can fix these. They are very, very, um... They are very sensitive, they can break off very easily, so you have to be careful with them. But if you can see right here, these are all where, where the bent pins were. So, they're not completely straight yet, they're straighter. So now we're going to take a card, um, preferably a debit card, but I'm not showing my debit card on camera, that's not, I'm not that stupid. You're going to just run this down through here and run it down through here like a fill snag right there okay so I straightened it out and you want this card to just be able to run through here no problem at all if you encounter any resistance there's obviously a pin bent now see right here there's another pin bent so I'm actually going to take my knife again and I'm just going to straighten that up a little bit on each side and then once I do that I'm going to run across the other way and you're just going to run your car across and there's no guarantee this will fix it you might have just completely you know foobarred your uh, processor it may not work anymore especially if you bend a pin off in the process but if you want to try to do this yourself, you definitely can. It's actually not that hard. There's a little bit of resistance in that one. So obviously, there's a little bit more bent of a pen there. We're just about done. Okay, bend that pen back up a little bit. Bring it back over here. And then we're gonna run our card back through that same area. You see it slides through no problem now. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, it's definitely not completely straight and you're not going to get it completely straight. You want but you can get it to the point where it will fit into the CPU socket and that's all you really want. Um, like I said you're not going to get these completely straight. I do believe um, with a few more minutes I could get this to a point where it would fit in the CPU socket. It might not, it might be a little bit tight but I have a very strong feeling I would be able to be able to fit this in here. So that's pretty much how you're going to go through and fix a broken CPU um, with bent pins. It's very very easy just you know a razor blade and a debit card like I said. If I was actually using a debit card not some flimsy piece paper I would probably be able to get it a lot better but I don't have a stiff 
Um, you know, I'm not going to put my license or anything else on screen. That's just stupid. So, definitely, um, you know, don't just throw these away. Try and fix them. If it's not 100% broken, if you don't have a pin completely missing, and even if a pin is completely missing, you can still fix that with very, very fine-tuned soldering. If you are just amazing at soldering, then, you know, you can even just put the pin back on. I, myself... I'm not that great at soldering and I don't have that fine of a tip that I would need to be able to do this so even with broke completely broken pins you can fix that as well but definitely bent pins are very very easy just a razor blade and a debit card and you should get it back up and running anyways that's going to do it for today um, that's going to be the um, end of this video if you have any questions uh, make sure you go like subscribe and comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one Bye-bye.